You, number one, inherit it from your ancestors. Now, I could give you a long treatise on that. I could give you a extensive biblical apologetic, but we don't have time for that. Read my book on curse breaking. It's all there. But when the Bible speaks about the sins being visited under the third and fourth generation, when the Bible talks about the generational propensity and inclination toward evil that many of you were born with, that's what it's talking about. Some of you were born with demons. When sperm met egg, you got demons. They've always been with you. You don't know what it's like to be without them. You have normalized your possession. It's a way of life. You have made friends with your demons. Now listen to me. There's so much a part of you, you don't know what's them and what's you. And unless somebody like me comes along and confronts it, you'll go on your way thinking you're okay. And all that stuff is there. So your ancestors passed that stuff on to you. Generational family curses. We now know in terms of modern science with the genome project and DNA and genetics, how this works. You get my new book. I have some fascinating information in dealing with demons about the most recent research into the inheritance of trauma. Now, I've known this for decades as a practical matter, casting out demons, that you inherit the trauma of your ancestors. Your great, 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 whatever was raped or incested or molested. And it's been happening to every single woman or man in the bloodline for hundreds of years. It hit you, it hit mom, it hit grandma. It's in the blood. It's in the genetics. Read the studies that I quote in that book from modern neuroscience that is now validating what those of us who teach curse breaking have known for a very long time. That stuff is there. You got it when you were born. And unless you've gone through a deliverance process, it's still there. Everybody needs deliverance. That's the utter ludicrousity, no stupidity of the evangelical church in America that we don't need this. Everybody needs it. Everybody needs some type of deliverance process that introspectively goes through prayers, dealing with the stuff in your life and renouncing the evil of your ancestors. Your ancestors raped, your ancestors killed, your ancestors incested. They worship false god. They made human sacrifice. They entered into blood covenants. Everyone in this room has someone in the bloodline who did that. You've either dealt with it, brought it to the cross, renounced it, and been freed from it, or you haven't. Now, not everybody who has a generational curse has a demon, granted. But you'll never know if you do until you start breaking the curses. And sometimes I sit down with people, and pastor knows what I'm talking about. You don't get very far. You start leading them in a curse-breaking prayer, and you're about 60 seconds, sometimes five seconds into it, and they're manifesting a demon. Because you're challenging the power base of that generational demon who's hanging on to that stuff. Get your stuff, your stuff's going to get you. So number one, get rid of the stuff that was handed you by your ancestors.